Now he has the finest doctor and equipment that America can provide. Six million pounds worth of Brabazon stands ready at Fulton near Bristol, awaiting her taxiing trials. As she's towed across the railway from the hangar, you get some impression of her size, for the Brabazon is the largest civil land plane in the world. For those who like figures, she's 177 feet long, has a wingspan of 230 feet, stands 52 feet high, and is powered by eight piston engines mounted in pairs and developing in all something over 20,000 horsepower. Her range will be about 5,500 miles. A village had to be demolished to build her special runway, which, with hangars and assembly hall, cost another six million pounds. The test is on. For the first time, the Bristol Brabazon Mark I is moving under her own power. And after years of endeavour, the 12 million pound experiment is underway. of almost 75 miles an hour had been reached on these trials and with everything reported as perfect the burning question was when would she fly? Next day the Brabazon was on the runway again. No decision had been reached so far as to whether this was to be the great day or not. It all depended on the test pilot but large crowds had collected around the airfield on the off chance and hopes ran high. With Bill Pegg at the controls the Brabazon started to move. Was it another taxiing trial, or was this the moment? Yes? No? Yes, the forward wheels lifted. The Brabazon was becoming airborne. Taken off with only a run of about 500 yards, the giant aircraft climbed steadily to over 3,000 feet. After cruising for some 25 minutes, she came in to land. Perfect landing, 130 tons of aircraft touching down at 88 miles an hour with never so much as a jolt. The project, which had been born as far back as 1942, had come to a triumphant conclusion. The Brabazon had flown. No wonder Bill Pegg seemed in high spirits as he leant from the cockpit to give the thumbs up sign. Lord Brabazon of Tara was one of the first to congratulate the pilot who had this to say about the historic flight. Now, as a result of those, um trials yesterday, um, we decided that uh, if all the conditions were suitable, uh, we would uh, have a go today. There's very little more. We turned around, we headed the thing in an easterly direction, and opened uh, the engines up to the takeoff bar, let off the brakes, and she was off the ground in some 500 to 600 yards. Um, in fact, she was off so quickly that um, uh, it took me rather unawares. And uh, the landing uh, was entirely normal and completely under control. A very simple, a very simple uh, business. A great day for British aviation and for Bill Pegg.